How can we imagine atoms physically interacting to produce voltage and current? We start with a hydrogen, because it is the simplest atom. Hydrogen has one electron shell, which acts as the surface of the atom. The shape of this shell is loosely based on the radial distribution function of the electron. The electron shell changes shape with excitation state, illustrated by a breathing motion. These quantum jumps become important in future videos for light and photoelectricity. 99.999% of the electron exists within 430 picometers of the nucleus. The remaining 0.001% of the electron is illustrated with tiny radial filaments. The surface of the electron has no limit on how far it can extend. If we ignore the tails of the electron's radial distribution and quantum jumping, we can use this simplified model to visualize electricity. Consider a very simple circuit. Here, we see an open circuit of single-file hydrogen atoms. Each atom's electron shell is enmeshed, folded together with its neighbor. What's going on at the charged terminals? The negative terminal atoms rotate counterclockwise. This rotation illustrates charge. The positive terminal rotates with the opposite charge, clockwise. In this example, atoms at the positive terminal rotate slower than those at the negative terminal. This illustrates the voltage difference between them. When the terminals come into contact, the one with more momentum drives the one with less. The propagation of this impulse is current. Because the electron shells of the atoms are in direct contact, momentum transfers quickly, at near light speeds. Hence, current propagates much faster than drift velocity, the average speed of electrons. It is important to recognize that this simplified circuit uses ionized hydrogens. The conducting metals and wires have more complex electron shells also called orbitals. Metallic orbital shapes allow multipolar contacts with other atoms. We hope this visualization improves upon electron bead flow and hydrodynamic analogies by using structural knowledge about the atom to imagine electricity. Please share your ideas on how to improve the model further.